So Calvin asked, is translucent color the only recommended type to glaze with? I accidentally used an opaque yellow and messed up a monochromatic painting. So what he's saying is he used a yellow, he had an underpainting, and again, you can refer, I think he commented on my glazing with acrylics video. Um, so he had, um, and actually, I'll show you what we're talking about. I have it. So this is from when I teach glazing. I made this board that shows um, opaque colors with a transparent glaze on top. And what he was probably talking about is this traditional technique where you do an underpainting. So actually, we'll, hi we'll hide the underpainting for a second. So that's your... That's a traditional painting technique. Here's the underpainting, and then the color is added in over top. And what he did is he used an opaque yellow, and then it covered over the underpainting so he couldn't see it anymore. That's a frustrating mistake to make. So um, that is why generally, and I, I recommend transparent colors rather than translucent, although translucent can be used, you'll just see a little more obscuring of the underpainting. Um, and here's the trick. How do you know which colors are translucent or transparent if you haven't taken my class where I give you the handout on this? Um, so you can look on the tubes. Now, I have a few here. For instance, one, one thing I really love, the golden, acrylics has these uh, three or four black stripes there and then they actually have hand painted the actual color on the label and that's a lot of um, that costs money it's not just printed and slapped on there it's actually hand painted on there and then you can really really see what you're getting so you can see this is a transparent color because you can see those black stripes if it were an opaque color it would be um, obscured by the paint on top so that way you would know when you were picking a yellow which would be appropriate to glazing a transparent color now um, other brands will have um, where's my oh the Snellier uh, it says on there on the front of the tube it says transparent so some will just say it on the label um, Here's a Winsor Newton Artist Acrylic, and they have this titanium white, and they have a similar thing where they've hand-painted on the label over a black grid. I can't really even tell what's under there. But you can get a sense um, of the coverage of that. So that's an opaque that's covering over the black underneath. Um, let's see. Liquitex has a system whereby they have a little shaded um, me I have di tubes from different eras I'm trying to find the most uh, recent okay so I have two um, so they'll have Liquitex will have this little box on the tube and if it's shaded it means it's opaque color and if the box is empty it means it's a transparent color and if it's translucent, it's half shaded. And um, I'll try and find one with that half shaded box on there. Maybe, mm, sorry. Oh, here's a half shaded one, okay. So every company has a little different way um, of designating that, but pay attention when you're shopping and you won't have um, a problem with uh, figuring out which color to glaze with choose the transparent colors and you'll be able to see through it when you mix in your glazing medium. Fun way to paint. I love that transparency and layering a lot. It's a big part of what I do.